friends welcome to today's video so today we are going to deal with data sufficiency questions based on percentage so the first question is what was mohan's income in 2010 the first statement given is his total income for 2008 2009 and 2010 was rupees 3 lakh second statement is he earned 25 percentage more in 2009 than he earned in 2008 only statement 1 is sufficient to answer the question you have to give it as A. If only statement 2 is sufficient to answer the question you have to give the option B. If both the statements 1 and 2 are required to answer the question you have to give the option as C. If either A or B is enough to answer the question you have to give the option as D. If neither statement 1 nor statement 2 are sufficient to answer the question you have to give the option E. So here what is the question you have to find out Mohan's income in 2010. So it is given like his total income for 2008, 2009 and 2010 is equal to 3 lakh rupees. So this is what is given x plus y plus z is equal to 3 lakh. Let x represents the income for 2008, y represent the total income for the year 2009 and z represent the total income for the year 2010 so we have to find out z actually now second question second statement given is he earned 25 percentage more in 2009 than he earned in 2008 so you can write it as x plus 0.25 x plus z is equal to 3 lakh so it is given like 31.25 okay he is earning 25 percentage more in 2009 than he earned in 2008 but we don't know x we don't know what he earned in 2008 so we cannot find out what he earned in 2009 also so there is only one equation and there are two unknown variables so in order to solve for two unknown variables we require two equations so here we are not able to find the answer to the question what was mohan's income in 2010 so what will be your option elephant elephant will be your option neither statement one nor statement 2 are sufficient to answer the question question number 2 a square has a side of length a the length of the side is increased by x percentage did the area of the square increase by more than 10 percentage so here also two statements are given the first statement is x is greater than 5 and second statement is x is less than 10 so what is the given question a square is having a side of length a and then this a is increased by x percentage so you have to find out the area of the square is increasing by more than 10 percentage or not so first you have to find out if a is increasing by x percentage a means the side of the square is increasing by x percentage how does the area of the square increase area of the square is equal to a square side square area of the square is equal to a square or side square so when the side of the square a increases by x percentage the area of the square will be increasing by 2x percentage so this is the main concept when x is increasing sorry when the side of the square is increasing by x percentage the area of the square a square will be increasing by 2x percentage so here the first statement is x is greater than 5 so x is greater than 5 means x can be 6 suppose when x is equal to 6 itself the area will be increasing by 12 percentage area will be increasing by 2 x percentage so when x is equal to 6 area will be increasing by 12 percentage so x is equal to 7 area will be increasing by 14 percentage so whatever be the value of x the area will be increasing by more than 10 percentage so that is what the question is is the area increasing by more than 10 percentage from statement 1 you can very well say that the area of the square is increasing by more than 10 percentage because it is given that the side of the square is increasing by more than 5 so obviously the area of the square also will be increasing by more than 10 percentage so from the first statement you will be able to find out the answer so you should not straight away say a is the option you have to check for statement 2 also what does statement 2 say x is less than 10 so x is less than 10 means x can be any value between 0 and 10 so suppose x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 
then area of the square will be increasing only by 2 percentage or x is equal to 2 area of the square will be increasing only by 4 percentage when x is equal to 5 only area will be increasing by 10 percentage and when x is greater than 5 only area will be increasing by more than 10 percentage so from the second statement you cannot tell whether always the area of the square increased by more than 10 percentage can x can have any value between 0 and 10 so here statement 2 is not sufficient to answer the question so here your option will be option a statement 1 alone is sufficient to answer the question now question number 3 what percentage is y's salary of x salary you have to find out what percentage is y salary of x salary so first statement given is x salary is 80 percentage of z salary so from that statement alone you cannot find the answer and second statement is y salary is 120 percentage of z salary so from these two statements together from 1 and 2 you can easily find out the answer to what percentage is y salary of x salary so how to do this question in the percentage videos playlist i have already discussed these kind of questions so i will share the link to that video in the comments so kindly go through the first comment and kindly go through that video to find out how this question can be solved so here the answer is both the options one and two are required to answer the question so our option will be option c both one and two we can find out the answer to the given question so kindly go through the comment section and watch the percentage video to find out how to solve this question Thank you for watching.